Hi, I'm Peter here from Pete's Car Audio. Today, um, we have collaborated with Excite Audio. We'll be doing a system in this car with an Audison DSP and AMP together with a full set of Eton speakers, a plug and play system. Using a DSP is very beneficial for this sort of cars and for most cars and this is what I would recommend. Having done DSP for the past at least uh, 15 years uh, and being about 30 years in the industry and what we notice nowadays is because of technology, things have become cheaper and the DSP spec has come up higher and hence it's much affordable nowadays to have a DSP in the car and hence uh, the DSP is a really important item that we would install in the car to do tuning and also to make the sound a lot smoother for any car with an aftermarket sound system. This is the original speaker from the Mercedes. We'll be remo removing it and we'll be replacing it with the, an OEM plug and play Eton speaker. This plugs right in. However, on a plug and play system, the mid and the tweeter, the original tweeter is, sh is shared amongst uh, the same wiring. So what we do, we enhance it more by using it as an active system. What this means is, we trade an additional cable up for the tweeter and it runs according, this is what we have done, according to the original cabling all the way into the door. Hence, we have two separate uh, channels to drive the tweeter compared to the mid. This makes for much better sound because we can then adjust the tweeter on its own, not affecting the mid, and we can adjust the mid on its own without affecting the tweeter. Okay, but it's still plug and play, but with an enhancement inside. Finally, when the Eton speaker goes in together with the Eton tweeter, they will work as a set, but addressed separately by the DSP. Now we will be installing the subwoofer for the Mercedes. Over here, there, there is a subwoofer. For the standard uh, C-Class, there will be only one on the passenger side. On the other side, it will be empty. However, when you get the Eton uh, plug and play, it comes in a pair, two pieces. Uh. So this guy is a perfect fit inside here. And this will give us a lot better bass compared to the original subwoofers. Firstly, because it comes in a pair, two pieces. We don't need to cut anything. No wiring needs to be changed. It's just a perfect clip back onto, onto, the, onto the clip here. This one, the base comes from the front. Hence, it doesn't need to be powered very significantly. Because if you put a boot subwoofer at the back, it takes a lot of power for that subwoofer for the base to carry over to the front. That's because of all the insulation in the boot. For a 100% output from that sub, you will only get about 40% of base up in front. The rest of the 60% will be lost in the boot itself. And that is why even BMW and even like Mercedes, they, they realize this. And that's why on uh, Mercedes, they have the subwoofer up front here. On a Burmeister uh, C-Class, on a Burmeister setup for a Mercedes, they will have two pieces of this, one on the left inside here and one on the right. And that will act as the subwoofer. Hence, this guy doesn't need to have a lot of power because the sub is already located in front. And that is why you will get ample base up front already. The reason why we want the base to be up front is it needs to gel together with the mids and so you get a coherent sound up front, you see. Whereas if you put the sub at the back, you will need a six and a half inch on the doors to actually give you that mid base to gel together with the subwoofer coming from the back. Hence, you will get the base up front feeling. But because the sub is now in front, the handoff between the four inch and this is much lesser. We need a lesser handoff to get that base up front feeling. Makes the job a lot easier.